We've already got word from the climate people that we got 20 some odd hurricanes and big storms coming this way on the East Coast as well coming up, uh, coming in before November. It's going to be chaos. Speaking of elections, this week President Trump tweeted out his desire to possibly delay or even postpone November's election, stating, quote, with universal mail-in voting, not absentee voting, which is good, 2020 will be the most inaccurate and fraudulent election in history. It will be a great embarrassment to the U.S. delay the election until people can properly secure and safely vote Holland. Now, we all know the Constitution prevents the president from moving or changing any elections in this country, but hey, this is 2020, a rather unique year. Should we be concerned that he might try to move the election this November? Yeah, the uh, Constitution has been treated like a doormat for the last three years, that's for sure. But uh, to Trump's credit, which I am loath to give, uh, he read the room. It only took him a day to walk that one back because the Republicans, uh, McConnell and others uh, of whom are up for re-election, quickly made the point that uh, this isn't going to happen. But I feel like I'm watching a Las Vegas magic act. You know, this is obvious diversion. Watch the other hand. Just as these horrible uh, GDP numbers came in, look at this, 1.43 million Americans uh, filed for unemployment last week alone. 33 million Americans are collecting or in uh, application. This is such an obvious distraction from the economy and from the uh, mismanagement of the coronavirus pandemic that I think people are getting on to him because we always take the bait. He says something outrageous and it consumes the news cycle, but less so this time. He just got uh, laughed off the front page. Holland, you always have your pulse on the truth out here. <laughs> So you know that the president and his minions have been hollering over and over again that mail-in voting is ripe with fraud and abuse, even though the majority of his administration mail-in votes, including the president himself. Is there any truth to these claims of abuse, or is this just smoke and mirrors being played by President Trump? Well, meanwhile, he's got his postmaster general, who is a major Trump campaign contributor, cutting over time, uh, just as we're expecting a surge of mail-in ballots. I got to read you this. I just spotted this on Facebook from our fellow broadcaster, Alan Tolles in uh, New Hampshire. And Alan uh, posts, if it's safe to, how do you put it? If it's safe, come back, Alan. If it's safe to mail tax refunds, social security checks, stimulus checks, draft registrations, prescription drugs, passports, your driver's license, or the actual ID you would use to vote, then it's safe to vote by mail. I couldn't say it better myself. I, I, think, I, think, I think your friend just hit the nail on the head because that, that is what everyone is kind of saying. Look, if it's safe to send kids back to school, you keep the polls open. I, I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous what we're hearing over and over again. I think that you and, and Amisha have said it right. It's, it's really just diversionary tactics to try to keep the conversation elsewhere and not on the truly horrendous job that we're seeing by not just Donald Trump, but numerous politicians across both aisles uh, in, in the wake of this pandemic.